they say eleven one eleven, you have to repeat eleven. If they say eleven two, you have to repeat again eleven eleven. That means a boom, boom like atopa. So eleven one, as you are saying eleven, then you are booing your mu. Eleven two, that means I have to boo your mu two times. Eleven eleven, eleven three, eleven eleven eleven. You see, <laughs> people, I said me I was hardcore. Small, if you beat me, that thing has pained me. Cry my heart to tell that friend, Poma, friend, Poma, friend, Poma, do not cry because if you cry, the sister will know that yes, she has got you. After one or two bullies that really touched my heart, I was like, I oh, don't cry. No, if I cry, this sister will get me for the rest of my staying and her stay. This girl will not cry, so I did hardcore things and I passed it on almost nine. They've given you a bucket of water to carry, and they are monitoring you too. You cannot put it down, you too. I cannot go and report. What kind of lifestyle is this one too? Potatoes, what is up? Welcome back to another video on your favorite girl's channel. My name is Vipoma. If you're just coming across my channel for the first time on YouTube, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you stay. I hope you like my video and I hope you click the red subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel to join my amazing family. And if you're returning and you always come back, thank you so much for the support and all that you do for me. Oh guys, today I'm really excited. I know you guys have been enjoying my senior high school series so much so that I cannot wait to give you this video as well. Before I get into the video, let's get into the memory verse. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Homo's Night or Nino's Night. In short, my most dramatic senior high school experience, guys. There's a lot going on in my head right now. A lot going on in my mind because it's funny, guys. By now, you guys should have already gone through that experience. But I just want to share mine as well. So, you can also share your experience in my comment section. And then we move. Okay, so as you guys know, I went to Infant Man Girls in the high school, the best in the high school in GH, the best girls senior high school in GH. I've said it. I don't want your opinions. Thank you for understanding. And I was in Scotton House. I won't say the best house in, in senior high school because the last time I said that, a lot of people came for me that that is not mm. the best house. But to me, it is the best house. It was my house. Whether it was best or not the best, it's still the best house. It taught me a lot of things. I got all most of my close friends from that house. So it is the best house in Infant Man Girls Senior High School. So today, I'm taking you back into memory lane. 2012 they have been saying that if you don't make it to your first choice school you don't have to blame god because you know god has a perfect plan for our lives you know as they say everything happens for a reason okay so in case you didn't get your first choice maybe you got a second choice or third choice school give thanks to god me i didn't get my first choice i wanted to go to a big girls but i didn't get a big girls i got in front of my girls senior high school and i'm so glad i went to in front of my girls because most of the things that happened to me i think it is in front of that has really shaped my life so i am very grateful to god okay so nino's nights is like the only ninth in senior high school that it is legal for the seniors or the sisters or the brothers to bully you yes i've said it that is it that is what nino's ninth some people some schools call it nino's ninth others call it homo's ninth my school we used to call it homo's ninth so that's ninth everybody at all every nonsense senior every same senior can bully you that's the only night that they have the permission from the school to bully the juniors so on that night a lot of thing goes on guys a lot like a whole lot i mean a lot of bullying goes on in the school and no teacher 
can't stop that so please my little advice to you all the freshers is to take it easy and don't go about reporting left right center calling your parents and telling them mommy i was bullied by this senior <laughs> let me tell you if you don't want trouble keep it to yourself because i'm not sure the bullying will go to the extent of you getting hurt or something like that if it goes to the extreme that is why you can go and pause but then if it is this normal do this do that abc those things please just keep it to yourself because it happens to everybody okay because if you go and bully and then your parents come and do this drama thing in school know that my friend my sister my brother they are going to be in trouble. Everybody's going to hate you, and that is going to do that is going to bring about something different between you and the seniors in the whole school. Because, like, all the top players or all the top bullies in the school will be looking for that boy or that girl that went to report. Okay, okay, so on that particular homos night or Nino's night, um, the freshers or the juniors are allowed to dress in a particular way like a funny way i was trying to look for my pictures from senior high school i still have it in my slam book and then post a couple of pictures from my homeless night so on that night maybe your school mother or your school father is going to dress you i don't know how it is done in the boys school because i went to a girl's school so in in fact my girls you can decide to dress yourself any way that you do it what is important is that you look stupidly classy okay on that homeless ninth day, you have to look stupidly classy. That is what I be. That is how I be. I used to say stupidly classy because I, the dresses that I go to dress, I don't know how else to put it for you guys to understand. My school mother did the dressing up for me. Some people can use pad as their earrings. So like they took off their earrings, hook it to the pad, and then they wear it, and then that's their as in something like their dangly earrings and all that. You put on your 90 you try to make it stylish you put some pepsi dent on your face like some lipstick you know that in school definitely people are going to bring on prescribed items like lipsticks and makeups people do that and the okay for my batch 2012 batch there were particular people maybe the house will select a particular group of girls that are not going to dress like the normal students they're going to dress nicely because i think they are going to be performing there are going to be performances and all that at the assembly hall so luckily for me i was not part of those girls i was not part of those girls that had to dress nicely as in they wore the prep at time and then um they dress nice they put on some makeup because they're going to perform from the house i was part of the stupidly classy girls so i did my shabbily dressed and it was fun it was exciting the hard truth is that that the people will beat you the seniors will beat you they'll send you some seniors can even say the hair go and buy this thing for me like they'll give you a whole list and they'll not give you money and then they'll tell the one you can bring me back change like 20 ghana so like they can tell you that go and buy me um shemima milo sardine conflicts like they'll give you the list and then they'll tell that oh yeah francis had 20 ghana bring me. meanwhile they're not giving you any money so that's that's when you get something like that sis, sis bro trust me because you're really going to suffer because you have to buy it with your money because if you don't buy it they are going to hunt you down until you bring the provisions or whatever they've told you to go and purchase plus they are change yes okay so that's night also all the first years after dressing up we move to maybe the compound the inner compound of the house that's what happened in my school so that's what i know they'll move to the inner compound of the house and then they'll start sheen jama and all that led by maybe some seniors some sisters okay they'll start sheen jama and then they'll move out of their house and go and meet the other freshers from the other houses and then they go around the school the popoing or the bullying is from all angles from your house not from your house or that everybody is entitled to bully you so put that at the back of your mind everybody is entitled to beat you so there's no complaint that day aside from that day if you receive any 
punishment and you feel you are bold and confident enough to go and report that one there it is between you and the senior but on that special homo homo's night on Nino's night's day there is no i've been bullied i've been bullied complaints okay so i thought that me before i went to senior high school my sister had briefed me on all these things so i knew but then she didn't even tell me about homo about homo's night or nino's night so i didn't really know about that but luckily my school mother was an angel sent from god so when um one or two sisters decided to bully me in my own house my school mother was like eh uh -huh, uh -huh, you see my fine daughter you want to come and make her cry you know that people i said me i was hardcore small like i was hardcore in senior high school if you beat me and that thing has pained me cry my heart to tell that frepoma 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 do not cry so i felt like my school mother knew that whatever they were doing to me was touching my heart so she was like i will work with you my school mother so she's smallish like me so she was like, I can't work with you, daughter. Do not come. Make sure that nobody will popo you. She put my arm around in, in her arm. We were working together. But she in the jam. And my school mother, she, those times, she was in form four. She didn't allow bullying. Mm -hmm. and then I was enjoying the music. I was enjoying, I was enjoying the jam. I would dance out. Hey, me and my school mother put foam at my bottles. So my bottles came too big. <laughs> And I was like, me, I will shake that bottle of snarling. I will shake it, I will shake it, I will shake it. Forgive me, there's, I think there's a construction ongoing somewhere in my wood. So you can hear boom, 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 boom. Yes. That's what happens if you live in a new site. Morning, afternoon, evening, they'll be disturbing your peace of mind. So I enjoy our dance. When I walk forward, then I'll stop or shake my bottle. So I'll dance. So, oh, like, it was a fun night, guys. Trust me, you really have fun. You really, really have fun. So I think afterwards, I didn't experience any bullying again. Because like right now, everybody was excited and all that. We took pictures. I took pictures with my friends. I took pictures with my school mothers. I took pictures with some sisters who thought I was a pretty girl in school. So like people were hollering, oh, can I take a picture with you? Can I take a picture with you? I felt like a celebrity. <laughs> so I was taking a picture. I used to be cute though. Shit. I used to be cute. It's just that when you are growing up, like stress can even make your face some way. Eh, stress. So then I think afterwards we went to, there was some performance by some girls chosen by every house and then we enjoyed it and we called it a night. So that was it. It was really fun and how I felt during the homeless night. So like, to me, it was normal because I had already experienced some severe bullying of some of the girls in my room because they were, they were stubborn. Okay, you guys, in my other video, I advised you on the things that you, or I, I advised you on some of the things that you need to do or how you have to behave in senior high school so that you'll be liked by all the sisters, if not all the sisters, about most of the sisters okay because see let me tell you senior high school is not a place that you want to go and showcase some nasty behavior of yours and then everybody be like this girl there she share this girl there were bastard this girl there she's like this she's like that and then all eyes are looking for you because when all the sisters set their eyes on you trust me girl you don't want it that way or, or when all the brothers set their eyes on you they're really going to suffer in school do you feel me so in case you've not watched that video i would advise you to go and watch that video and learn one or two things from it probably you are now in um in first year or you're a fresher or you're about to go to senior high school you just have to watch the video okay i'm going to leave it in the i card so keep watching keep checking out for it okay and go and learn something and then be happy in senior high school so I, as i was saying i had already experienced this kind of bullying do this 11 1 11. so there was this thing that they used to do in my school 11 1 11 11 2 is what 22 11 3 33 but that is not what they mean if they say 11 1 11 you have to repeat 11 if they say 11 2 you have to repeat again 11 11 that means a boom and some of the sisters can make you boo your moose if you are sleeping at night ah 
you have a dream that some angels are massaging your waist and your back you see so i'd already experienced those things so it was just like normal for me but some sisters really took it to the stream they made some juniors carry a bucket of water can you imagine on almost night so they are monitoring you they've given you a bucket of water to carry and they are monitoring you too you cannot put it down you too i cannot go and report what kind of lifestyle is this one too so as you are going now they are monitoring you to see that you to see if you drop the water or you put the water down or you pour the water so that you it becomes another wahala for you so that was the bad side that trust me senior high school is very 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 fun it's a beautiful place to be if you didn't go to the boarding house and you're in the um um and yeah, day students. I think join this night you can join them because I remember some of them, some of my friends who were day students also joined us for this ceremony and then everybody was happy. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys. As I've been saying, please let me know what kind of videos you want to you want me to film for you, and I'm going to do that. So until we meet again, stay blessed. Love you. Bye.